next demo would be a uh, supply network. This model uh, is also, uh, also comes with a tool and it's called uh, Adaptive Supply Chain. Okay, here we have a, uh, a map. In this case, this is just an image map, but AnyLogic also supports uh, GIS and CAD drawings which you can incorporate in your models. So what we have here, this is a, uh, again, a simplified version of a real, uh, real project, but this is, um, but you can consider this as, as an abstract supply chain. We have uh, one, two, three producers of, uh, suppliers of raw material, two manufacturing size, sites, one over here and another over there. <coughs> And uh, by the way, when I click at an, uh, an object in the model here, over here, you can see its, its properties. And you can uh, change something on the fly. For example, you can, or you can change the inventory policy for this guy, uh, fleet size, production capacity, etc. So these yellow guys are uh, distributors. And finally, the green... Um, the green objects are retailers. So, um, right now the network, the supply network is stable, so connections are stable, and you can see the trucks uh, going along these connections delivering uh, parts or finished goods. Uh, you can do 3D again, uh, even for uh, models like that, uh, 3D can be useful. So, the, uh, these green bars going up are the inventory levels at different parts of the supply chain and um, the red bars going down is the order backlogs. Okay, but this is not uh, all <coughs> what, is <coughs> what is modeled here. I'll switch back to the 2D mode and I'll uh, check this checkbox. We're also modeling consumers of the, uh, of the product. So each green dot here, each green dot is a consumer who uh, buys a product from the nearest, nearest retailer. And uh, currently, there are uh, 150,000 of consumers in the model, each having its own individual behavior. In this case, we're modeling just uh, purchase behavior or purchase patterns, if you want. So let's uh, do something to the model. I'll select this uh, producer. And, uh, okay, something wrong happens to it. Uh, production capacity is very low. And uh, I'll run this uh, model in a faster mode so you can see how the supply chain reacts to this. See that the uh, order backlog grows. Oh, I'll pause the model here. The Consumers that are red are those people who are waiting for the product but cannot buy it because it's not available. And this uh, long uh, uh, red lines are the order backlogs at different parts of the supply chain. But let's uh, simulate the model further. I don't know how, uh, how well you can see, but the supply network reacted uh, to the um, uh, to what happened to this producer and uh, it, it has restructured itself so that um, now as you can see there are still some you know problems with the supply but most of the users are satisfied they're they're back green so uh, this is uh, an example of a supply chain network and the market model uh, being you know put together in in one um, in one let's say bigger model and they're all using different, uh, different technologies. So I'll, um, if you, we open internals of this model, uh, you can see the model, uh, the model consists of uh, 
consumer, distributor, producer, retailer, uh, and uh, supplier, and some auxiliary objects like shipping. The producer is an agent in the model, but inside the agent we're using uh, a uh, discrete event modeling to um, describe the production process, like the uh, raw material, productions, uh, 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 storage, and this, these are some resources. Very primitive because this is a demo, but um, anyway. Same for consumer. Consumer is described by a state chart. This is uh, using initially using a product, then order and wait for the product uh, to become available. Using the product, green, happy, then a product expires. Uh, going back to this order state, uh, red and unhappy uh, until the product becomes available. And these are events. Uh, deliver of the product and the product uh, expert. So uh, this is um, another what we call multi-method model using both uh, discrete events like here and agent-based uh, technologies together. 